Hey guys, we're going to use the images that we photographed yesterday to create um, examples of digital cyanotype. So something that looks like a cyanotype, but it was taken digitally. So I'm on uh, photop.com and I'm going to go file open. And I've got a bunch of images to choose from. Um, and I'm going to do this one. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you need to invert this image. Inverting an image flips it to a negative. So anything that's black becomes white. Uh, on the computer, you can press control and the letter I and it will do it for you. If that doesn't work, you can go into image, adjustments, and invert. And it also says control I next to that. Okay, so the next thing is um, cyanotypes are kind of like a blueprint and they are blue and white. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, and I'm gonna go to color balance this over and I want to play with these blues backgrounds a little purple and this is kind of where you have like the creative freedom to make it you know, like as blue as you want that's good for now and I'll go into my image adjustments play with my exposure still want to keep that blue background I kind of like it there. I want to show more texture on the leaves. So, image adjustments. Let's try brightness contrast. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead and crop it. Here's my crop. Kind of like this area the best. Crop. Yeah, actually it looks pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to save it. So file, export as a JPEG. Come on. And press save. <clears throat> and there it is. And I have a really cool one on my background right now. Drag it over here, and then you can post it to your portfolio. I want you guys to have at least two Sienna types that are done digitally. Oops. <clears throat>